Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and you've had a lovely Christmas. We're in this weird in-between phase between Christmas and New Year's and I wasn't quite sure what to film so I just thought I would do what basically everyone does and just show you some of the things that I got for Christmas. Also, we've just come back to London and the boiler's broken. That's why I'm wearing the scarf and I'm actually still in my pyjamas and I've got a hot water bottle on my lap so it's freezing, yay! We spent Christmas with Leo's parents, um, which was really, really lovely. It was such a nice time. And yeah, I just had a lovely, lovely little Christmas. Leo's parents said that they weren't going to go crazy on the presents, but they kind of did, for me anyway. In my opinion, they did. One of the things they got me was this gorgeous bag which I've actually been trying to think of like what bag I can get because I always carry around a backpack um, and it's always so full of stuff like my laptop, my cameras and my chargers and stuff like that um, but I don't really have like a shoulder bag that I can just carry around with me um, but I, I do like to carry around the DSLR so this is very handy, it fits, it'll fit a lot of stuff in. I'm not sure where it's from but it's kind of like a bucket style bag and I really really like it. There's like a similar style smaller purse in there as well so I can put like little things in there so they won't get lost. On the same vein they got me another little bag which is very naughty of them. Um, this is from, a, I know this brand but I don't know why I know this brand, it's a long, long term and you know when it comes in a little bag like this that it's going to be a little bit of fancy. Um, so they got me this lovely little red purse. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for yet, it's too nice for like a little wash bag but I might put little uh, little camera bits in it to keep those safe. Um, it'll also make for a nice purse if I go have to go to like fancy dinners or something which isn't often but you know you need purses for those occasions. <laughs> something that I've been wanting for a really really long time is a drone and no they did not get me a drone I would be quite angry with them if they spent that much money but they got me something to prepare for it and that is this book. <laughs> so it's just got loads and loads of information about drones, about how best to shoot with them, like the safety bits, flight basics. I think everything you need to know about drones, this is basically up to date on it. So I'm very excited to read through this and prepare for when I eventually buy one. Something that I had on my wish list because I am addicted to candles was a gorgeous candle. Leo and I went to Vienna uh, in September and we found this like, I guess like a homeware store and I saw these candles and smelt them and I thought, oh my goodness, I need to own one of these candles. But we only had hand baggage going back so I thought I'll behave, I won't buy one, I'll put it on my Christmas list. Um, so this candle wasn't actually one that we saw there but when I saw it I was like oh god I need that one and it is the Nord Nordlis, mm, probably not saying that correctly but it's Northern Lights, it's a brand called Scandinavisk, you can possibly see their little, if it's going to focus, probably not, um, so it's, I don't think it's two people from Scandinavia but um, they moved out there and they fell in love with the whole thing and obviously Huga is a massive a massive trend at the moment so they really embrace that and now I can't open the box to show you the candle. There we go. Oh, I'm in love with the packaging. I wasn't sure what the scent was going to be like but it is stunning. And there you can see, is it going to focus on the candle? I don't think it's really capturing just how beautiful it is, but it is beautiful. And they've got these nice little wooden tops as well. So obviously you can use that as a stand. And yeah. Ah, oh, it smells so nice. It's just, the, the wax is like a light blue as well, which is just stunning. It's just a really fresh and lovely scent and I'm just obsessed with this. It's going to look so pretty on my desk and it's going to smell lovely. And I can't wait. Speaking of candles, I actually bought a little treat for myself because I haven't really, I haven't really bought much myself recently and I know that, that's fine but obviously at Christmas time I was like, I'm gonna treat myself to a little something. We went for a big food shop 
just for Christmas, obviously. And um, we popped into this little shop um, just because it looked pretty from the outside. And I found a candle brand that I follow on Instagram, but I've never seen them in shops or anything. I've just never been to one of their stockists. And so I found this little candle from Parkminster and it's orange blossom. This one's a soy candle. The Scandinavis ones are vegetable wax and they just burn a lot cleaner than paraffin candles. I used to be obsessed with like Yankee candle and stuff, but when you burn these candles, you can tell they burn a lot nicer. So if you like candles, look into some soy wax candles or vegetable wax candles because they burn a lot fresher. And with ones like these, I just really like supporting small businesses, so. And this was like five pounds for a little candle, so it's not too bad. I managed to see some friends just for Christmas and uh, they gave me some little presents, which I'm so excited about, I love them. First of which was a little patch and it says Traveller on it. It's from a shop called Asilda Store and I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly, but they make loads of awesome pins and patches and their Instagram is beautiful and I'll link it down below, uh, it's just, great so I can't wait to put some on my backpack. They know that I love Lush so they got me a bath bomb from there. It's the mind the oh never mind the ballistic that's what it's called. I won't get it properly out because my hands will get all but yeah there you go. It's the pink and yellow one. Mmm it smells so nice. Obviously our boiler's broken at the moment but when we have hot water again I think I'll have to treat myself to a bath with this. I think these presents just show how much my friends know me because one of the other things that they got for me was instant film. I normally try the, just the white, I normally choose the white bordered film, but this is the airmail version. So if you've seen like those old envelopes, um, they've got the kind of blue and red trim and I'm probably gonna use this for um, one of my trips in 2017. So it can be quite apt that when traveling, I take the photos on these ones and I just think that's really lovely and they know me so well. Oh, another thing that Leo's parents, well, mostly Leo's dad, I think, got for both Leo and I, um, we got individual versions, is a 1000 dot to dot book. And I've got an animals version, Leo's got an architecture one, I think. It's like cities. Um, and obviously it's huge. You can see just how big it is. They're amazing. I'll show you one that I was starting on we were really engrossed with this on Christmas day in the afternoon so I think Leo finished his I didn't manage to do as much but I don't know if you can see but that's going to be a cat when it's finished hopefully it's focusing I mean you can just see how big it is we've realized that it like they're all different colors but probably you could just use the same pen for all and that's just to differentiate between each set of 100 dots, if that makes sense. We did not realize this. Moving on to the present that Leo got for me. One thing I've been meaning to pick up for ages is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. If you've been watching my channel, you might, have, you, you might have seen that I went to see the play of this a few months ago. And I've been meaning to get the book. I didn't want to read it before seeing the play. I wanted to see it first and then read it. So I didn't even buy it because I thought if I buy it, I'll want to read it. So I won't. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited to see how they compare and I think I might do a video uh, like book versus play or just a comparison or just a chat about them in the new year. Well, let me know if you'd like that. I'll probably do it anyway, but yeah. So that's something that I'm really excited to fill some time with. Again, I am relatively easy to buy for, I think, because you could just get me something in a lush packet and I'll be very happy. This is the Penguin Bubble Bar. Uh, let's get him out. There he is. Mr. Penguin. I'm so excited. I don't think I've actually ever used a bubble bar, so I'm really, really excited to, look, to try this one. He smells lovely. <laughs> Another thing that Leo got for me uh, was a couple of pairs of socks, uh, one of which I don't have at the moment. Um, and these, they're sorry they're dirty. I wore them on Christmas Day, but I wanted to just quickly show them. Um, the little cactus, cacti socks with Christmas hats on. How oh, they cute. <laughs> I love them. They're so great. And yeah, obviously I wore them on Christmas, so they need to go in the wash. Last but by no means least, Leo was very naughty and uh, bought a very special present 
which I totally wasn't expecting. Um, as it's our first Christmas together, I didn't think he would buy something so extravagant, but he bought me this little diamond necklace. Um, I was very, I was in shock when he, when I opened it, I just, I wasn't expecting something like that and it's beautiful and I don't normally wear a lot of jewellery. I wear a couple of rings, one that was my mum's and one that Leo gave me for my birthday which was actually his mum's as well um, and they go perfectly together and obviously this is very very small and delicate and I, I don't normally like big big necklaces or anything like that so it's it's perfect really. I've just remembered one other thing that Leo's parents got for me that's incredibly handy um, it's gonna look a bit weird when I put it up, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's these. <laughs> it's a candle wick trimmer. So rather than using a normal pair of scissors or, I don't know, something else, um, I can use these and easily trim the wicks and nothing will kind of, it hopefully won't get as dirty as I normally get because sometimes I just pinch them off with my fingers, which is really, Probably not, not good. Um, so I'm really, really happy with these. It's another thing that was on my Christmas list. Um, these ones are from Hopscotch, who I bought some nail polish from recently, and it's very nice. Yay, I'm a candle addict. <laughs> oh, there's one more thing actually that Leo's parents got for me, but it's in the bathroom, so I'll be back. There were two presents in the bathroom that I had forgotten about. Not forgotten about, but because I put them in the bathroom, they weren't in the room. Uh, Leo also got me a pot of Rub, 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 which I think is just great. It's shower scrub, and I'll show you why it's great if I can open it. Let me show you. It is bright blue. Mm, it smells really fresh and uh, like a sea scent. Yeah, that's because the main ingredient is fine sea salt. But yeah, this is this is great to use in the shower. Leo's mum recently discovered this company in Wales. I think it's in Wales. Yeah called Chuckling Goat and it's a thing that I never really heard of but apparently this thing that's really good for your gut um, and I've used it in other things is kefir and she got me this little cleanser from them. I'm going to focus so you can sort of read it. So I'm going to see how this goes in taking my makeup off um, or if I use my normal Lush cleanser and then use this afterwards as a double cleanse, but this is handmade with raw goat's milk, kefir and rosemary essential oil. It says our products are proudly handmade on our family farm in Wales, UK, using our own raw goat's milk and award-winning kefir, free from any nasty dyes, perfumes, parabens, petrochemicals, or something I can't say. <laughs> So yeah, I'm really excited to try this. Those are some of the main gifts that I got for Christmas. I'm so happy with them, I'm so grateful. Do let me know in the comments what you got for Christmas. Again, I hope you had a really lovely time. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.